Hi everyone, my name's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoy the video and you decide to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much. Today I'm going to be setting up my November Franken planner. And instead of just doing a flip through of it, I thought that I would just set it up. <laughs> so let's get started. What I started doing, and I actually got this idea from Kel of a Plan, I started taking all of my November uh stuff and putting it, um, I put it on these uh, mini discs with this cover and just so I can kind of have them and I can start working on them throughout the month and I've already started putting some of my December in there as well but we'll be pulling them out of there and moving them over to my Franken planner. So most of, a lot of this stuff is going to stay, just some filler paper. This is my October, so it's going to come out. If you want to see an after the pen flip through, I'm going to be posting that in a couple of days. So let's see. I need to leave this week actually in here. Set that to the side. And I have not finished setting up my November catch-all planner yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> this with this here. And then I've got this week still in here. This can come out. I'm running out of room. Move this over here. Okay. And then I'll put in the rest of the weeks for my dashboard. And this is my catch-all portion of the planner. And I always put it right in front. And then I go into my social media planning, which I've still got this week's social media pages in here. in here wrong, but that's okay. And I did a plan with me on the social media calendar. You can find that in the um, plan with me checklist, but it should be like in my recent uploads. But that's what it looks like. And then this is going to be my Instagram grid for November. And then I'm still working on these. And this is next week. And then this was my handwriting challenge, Mermaid's Logic handwriting challenge. So I'm just going to take those out. I'm not doing that challenge this month. I'm going to do it next month. This month I'm going to be doing some other things. So let me get my. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in right here. My, no drama llama and I did a plan with me on this one as well it's the monthly dashboard layout very very popular layout let's see I'm actually still working on yeah I posted all of that so I'm gonna leave this one in here always kind of funky when you start in the, a new month in the middle of the week. I'm looking forward to using this. <laughs> I love how this turned out. I used the um, Womankind sticker book. Okay. I'll leave those in there for now. Actually, I can take this one out. in here and this one I, I use this to plan out my spreads like you can see right here and this is just going to be like general office stuff office stuff and social media stuff that I need to do for the month okay now we'll get to 
the household portion and I use the Vintage Botanical Planner for it. Actually, I'm going to need that. Finish getting this set up. And this is like the first month that I'm not just like completely changing everything up. So that tells me I may have actually found a setup that I'm happy with. So, okay, let's do this. And I didn't put the days of the week on here. I'm going to have to go back and do that. Okay, let's see if I can remember when I need to do everything because I did not write much of this down. So let's see. This is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> let's look at the calendar. Okay, the fourth is Monday. So that's when I'm going to wash bed linens. I actually need to do living room linens tomorrow. And I also need to wash the rugs tomorrow. And let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we clean out the fridge because that's trash day. And then tomorrow, I need to sweep and mop. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. Also, need to clean off the washer and dryer and clean the bathroom. Yeah, I'm going to have a busy day tomorrow. So, put all those right there. Usually, I try to break them up, but I'm kind of running behind this week as normal. Um, let's see. What do I want to put in next? My, let's see, I'm going to take, I'm not doing housework on Sunday. Monday I'll do my room in here. And Tuesday I will do the living room. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I will do the bedroom. Phil is not going to be due for a bath until next weekend. And I don't know when my husband's going to have to mow again because we're kind of out of that part of the season. So I'm going to just stick that back there. And we need to clip her nails. I need to brush my cat. She's got long hair. <laughs> and. I use scoopable litter and I change it out about every two weeks. So let's see when I last did that. <laughs> Might be this Saturday, last Saturday. So I'll need to do it next Saturday. There we go. Okay, so that's all set up. And what I've been trying to do is when I get it done, I write it down, so that way I can remember when I last did something, and then I just move <clears throat> the sticky note to the next day that I'm going to be doing it on. Does that, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay, moving on. Next up, this was, yeah. I don't do the currently pages because it just doesn't flow well in um, Franken Planner. Okay, that divider stays in here. September can come out because I'm done with it, but I'm still finishing up totaling everything for October, so I'm going to leave it in here, and I can't really share that. I got a lot, of, a lot of personal stuff in there, so, and then I have not set up my budget planner. For November yet I'm going to be doing that in the morning and I'll go ahead and film it and if anybody's interested in seeing it then I'll upload it and share it just let me know drop a comment this is the stuff I'm going to be using by the way <laughs> I've already kind of done a little bit of pre-planning I'm going to do like a cactus succulent theme and let's see how to use these I've dated it, and that's about all I've done. Okay, there's that part. Again, if you if you guys want to see that, drop a comment down below, and I will upload it for you. 
And let's see, this was my self-care planner and my habit trackers. I'm not doing a habit tracker like this this month. I'm just going to, I mean, because those are basically my daily to-dos. And I put those in the monthly dashboard layouts that have the track habit trackers. So I'm just going to do that this month. And I'm going to go ahead and leave these in here. I found that they're just really not working for me. But I might decide, you know, on an off day that I want to use it. And then I did a video sharing this one. This is going to be my self-care planner for this month. And it is a free planner that I printed on ShiningMom.com. I reduced it down to 85%. And I will do this calendar just like I did the one I just pulled out, but it's smaller because I really don't need that much space just to write a few letters in each day, and I can put the key right there, so that works out. And then this gives me like a little, um, I'm not very good at journaling, <laughs> which I need to, I want my marker to be right in my page marker, dashboard, whatever, to be right there. And then I can just do this weekly, write down a little bit of stuff about my week, do a little bit of journaling at night over here, and that's that. So I printed out enough of these for four weeks. And then, it's, yeah. Oh, and then this is the mood tracker that I'm going to do, and it's from Life. Life is Messy and Brilliant. I will link both of these down below in the description. So if you want to go check those out. And then these were also from Shining Mom. And I just printed off a couple of them because I might use them. And then I'm going to leave these in here. And actually, that's it, guys. That's the, that's the setup. My football section stays back there. And then I have a note section my list section and video notes it's just a place for me to write down ideas and that's that so quick flip through right another just to kind of give the overview sticky notes <laughs> and then these are my goal pages that I did at the beginning of the year I'll be doing another one of these for 2020 pretty soon and filler paper Again, this is my catch-all planner. I haven't set it, finished setting it up yet. And it goes right into my catch-all section. Um, this is like the first thing that I look at in the mornings. And then the second thing I look at is what I need to post for social media that day. Here's where I track all of my stats. I'm going to be tracking all of my stats. I was doing it on these, but that's just, I don't think that's going to work for me. I think I would rather have it the month all in one, one spread instead of having four of those. I'm still going to use those to plan out my posts, but I'm going to use this to write my stats in. And then this was my, my hair. I have long hair, so I shed everywhere. Um, this will be to plan out my Instagram layout whatever grid and then again these are still working on this week and this is what I'm, I'm going to continue to use this to plan out my posts this is to plan my film days and let's see those are just empty and then this is my office planner and I just keep up with you know general things I need to do in my office and then my spreads which I'll start next week on with these And then November, go, or November, <laughs> household planner. And just keep up with general household stuff on here. Like, you know, for instance, when I change the Brita filter or, you know, just different things like that that need to be written down. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, like if I have, a, um, for instance, we I decided to cut off Netflix because we just haven't been you we haven't been watching it at all paying ten dollars a month for it and you know at some point I'm sure we'll go back on it but I'm like I would normally have written out wrote it down on my weekly but normally I would have written down and actually 
I think that's what that's supposed to be right there. That's the last day that we have Netflix. But sometimes we do like um, free trials. And, you know, if I want to remind myself before the free trial ends so I can decide if I want to cancel it before it comes out of my account, I put that stuff on this calendar as well. Just things like that. General, general household things. And, I mean, this usually has, like, chores and projects that I work on in, in the house. And then, again, this is for all of my housework. And then, of course, budget. And I'll be setting that up in the morning. And then it goes into self-care. And y'all just saw it, so no need to flip through it again. These were the guided journaling sheets from the guided journals that came out during the summer release. Like I said, I've been trying to use them, but I don't, I don't, that's maybe just not my style of journaling. I thought at first I loved it, but then I was just like, I kind of got bored with the prompts, honestly. Um, so, I mean, and I'm, I'm still going to use those. I'm not going to let them go to waste. I'll still use them, but. And then this was the filler paper that I had for my journaling that I haven't used any of it. <laughs> so I just left a couple of sheets in there. And my football section, my husband and I, um, we have competition every season. See who can pick the most games. And then, again, back here to my notes section. This, if you're wondering, these dividers and the filler paper um, came out of one of the wrong, wrong uh Happy notes. I'll get there. Let's see. I've got that cover somewhere. Oh, well. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to leave everything in my hard cover for this month because I'm really liking it. But it is getting dirty. So if anybody has any suggestions on, I think this was from like laying it down on a newspaper or something. I'm not sure. But if you have any suggestions what I can do to clean this, please drop them down in, in the comments <laughs> because it needs a good cleaning. The front is really okay. It's not too bad. It's just this back cover is starting to get dirty. And I knew that was going to happen when I got this white one, but I got it on clearance. So can't beat that. So that's all I have for now. Um, we'll do this again next month. So we're all set up for November and ready to go, and we'll get some plan with me's on the dashboard layout, and happy Nietzsche coming up in the next couple of days. And that's all I have. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love hearing from all of you, and I try to respond within 24 hours. And you can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I post before the pin and after the pin of everything on both Instagram and Facebook, whichever one you prefer. Um, the links are down in the description. They're also on my channel page. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like to receive notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up thumbs up and feel free to share away. And that's all I have for tonight. I really hope that you all enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.